hello, this is Loke. It's been a while since I posted a new update. Um, you know, like summer vacations, family travel and stuff like that. I hope you're all enjoying summer. And so I'm back with an update 0.18. So let's get through it. I have like uh, three new props and a bunch of new functionality. So let's take a look at the new props. First is the IPSC Big Swinger. So if you go to IPSC, uh, if you scroll down, you see now you have these two big swingers here. You have one swinger with an actual target, one swinger with a no-shoot. And so what you can do is, I, I remember seeing somebody do this where they put targets behind. Right? They put uh, targets like that, they clone targets maybe. Uh, I remember seeing a match, somebody did this, I don't remember which match, but uh, something like that. Yeah, so then if you, if you put... Uh, a popper here and then you wire up the popper to this then we go simulation you shoot the popper yeah like that and you get the... yeah so those are the big swingers uh next one is the ismoc guys down in macau asked me to you know they built that funny floating target so now they wanted a floating target with three small plates on it uh, which i thought was pretty cool uh, it's going to be hard to implement this in um, a USPSA, but yeah, you can do this as well. And then, so if you go to simulation mode, oh, sorry, simulation mode, you can then shoot the small plates up there. Like that. And you know, because this is all water based, this whole floating target would like float back and forth, which is pretty interesting. And the next one is a IPSC double clamshell. Um, so if you go over to here, the clamp you have a normal clamshell, now you have a double clamshell. So if you wire this up to this clamshell, now if you go to F10, and if you shoot this target here, see the now double targets. So if you have an opportunity, you shoot the bottom one before the no shoot closes uh, the target. So yeah, so, so those are the three new um, props available. So the new functionality, number one, if you have a video loop, um, before there were two problems with it. One is, um, oh, let me just load up a, a stage to show you. So, so this stage has a video loop. So if you go over the cameras, you see that now I have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and final camera. And before this, uh, if you turn on toggle cell shade, and then when you start to play a loop, uh, it didn't respect the cell shade. Somehow or other, it just reverted back to normal. Now, if you play a loop, you see the cell shade still applies only for that first camera if you want cell shade to apply for all the cameras right obviously you need to go over to the second camera and then you know toggle cell shade and so on and so forth right uh, the next thing you that you also realize is that if you bring target text up here in the before this change if you go over to cameras again and you play video loop the text was facing forward now the functionality is every time you play a video loop the target text will always face the camera so you always see the target text, uh, no matter which position you are, and it'll always face you. Next one is, if you realize, I've actually made the walls much more simplified now. So if you look at this texture, it's a lot more simplified. Um, and I've also added a, uh, a new ground texture. So if you go over to Bay, you see now we have a new ground texture called Pastel Yellow Grid. So now for those of you who are, prefer the um, sketch up kind of look you have a pastel color ground with a green uh, wall and you also notice the walls now don't don't have pillars right and they look much better uh, and they also curve so for instance if you go over to bay and if I bring this in like this you see that now the walls curve nicely here right it looks really nice so much better looking walls hopefully you'll like that uh, next one is if you are using ipsic IPSC, uh, if you're building an IPSC stage uh, for the WSB written stage briefing, uh, now we've added a bunch of new things for IPSC. So if you go to IPSC, you have two new things here. You can specify the time start and the gun ready condition. And I believe these are the minimum required information you need in an IPSC official written stage briefing. So I've added these two as well. Uh, and then somebody actually asked for, like if you do, if you're in the measure mode, so if you go to mode and go measure, as you bring the ruler, you can't really see the information, right? I mean, if you look at where your mouse is, um, the distance was originally there, but now somebody asked to put the distance up here on the screen. So now no matter where you are and how far you are from the stage, you can see the distance, the actual distance. 
another thing I, uh, that was asked for is if you lock your uh, objects like this, they have highlights on it, right? So if you have like big objects like berms, for instance, if you put a berm here like that, and if you want to lock it in place, you see now you have these highlights all over the place and it's kind of irritating. And so if you go to settings now, you can have an option to turn off and suppress the lock highlight. So if you suppress the lock highlight, now you will see that all the lock objects only have the icons and they will not be highlighted. So hopefully it leads to a much cleaner display, like especially when you want to export the camera. So that's all I have for you uh, for update 0 0.18. So if you want to provide more feedback, I would suggest you join the Discord server. The link to the Discord server is in the YouTube description below. You can obviously go over to here and provide feedback here as well under feedback in the menu. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank uh, the Patreon subscribers so far. Thank you so much for supporting the cause. And if you're interested in being a Patreon subscriber, please visit this link. So that's it. That's all for 0 0.18. I hope you like it. I have a bunch of new updates coming in 0 0.19. And if you want to see new stuff, join the Discord server, post updates there. And I hope to see you all there. Hope you all have a great weekend. Wishing you lots of alphas and I'll see you on the range.